Hey y'all, this is Zach with Meals Under Pressure. All right, so we're writing our third edition cookbook and we decided we're gonna do something a little bit different. So we're already gonna make some recipes that are regionally specific, um, you know, like Southern recipes, uh, New England, uh, Midwestern, stuff like that. So tonight we're gonna be doing a Southern recipe called Brunswick Stew. Now this is big in the South, especially the further east you get towards Georgia and the Carolinas, uh, usually associated with like your barbecue joints, um, Brunswick Stew. All right, so here's what we got. I've got a pound of shredded chicken. All right, and normally what you use is these barbecue places as they're, as they're cooking their briskets and their, and their pork, they'll have it left over, so that's what they use. Well, we didn't have that, so I went to the grocery store and got um, a pound of this, uh, this pulled pork. All right, so got a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, uh, just a can of chicken broth, that's two cups, some barbecue sauce, I like to add a little apple cider vinegar, kind of give it that tangy flavor. Um, some Worcestershire, and you got to have some corn, and you got to have some lima beans. Uh, some people put uh, put uh, potatoes in there. I don't like that. Uh, so, but you got to have uh, butter beans. That's baby lima beans um, and frozen corn. And this this is a 12 ounce package, and this I think was a, a 16 ounce package. And I've got about four or five cloves of, of garlic and. Got a uh, medium white onion and my camera woman's little fancy, hmm. fancy dicer here. So that's a medium white onion. All right, so we're gonna get everything opened up uh, and we'll be back. All right, so we got all our stuff open and portioned out. So what we're gonna do first is add this can of uh, tomatoes. That's the basis of Brunswick stew is tomatoes. All right, I have my corn and my butter beans. Or baby lima beans. Go ahead and add a can of broth there. Onions. Onions. And our pork. This is gonna make a lot of food, folks. That's two pounds of meat in there. Alright, now I've got a half cup oh, of barbecue sauce. And you want to use a Either a sweet barbecue sauce or vinegar based barbecue sauce. And I'm going to add about half of that, about a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar to it anyway. I like the tang that it gives. So that's about a. About we got some biscuits cup. going in the, uh, air going in the air fryer. That's that noise in the back. I got my garlic. I'm going to throw that in there. I probably should have added that in with the vegetables, but okay. And I'm going to add. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Now I've got salt, paper, pepper, but I'm gonna wait till it's done and do just do that to taste. So when it goes on, set to the seal position. Hit the manual button or pressure cook button, whatever you have on, on your model. I'm gonna bring it down five minutes. So, all right, we'll be back. All right, guys, so we did five minutes under pressure, and then I did a quick release, and there's my, my Brunswick stew. I'm telling you, this is uh, this is really good stuff. Uh, we didn't even add any salt, pepper, didn't need it. I mean, the, the flavors were, were perfect. So, again, Brunswick stew was originated in Brunswick, Georgia. Some people say Virginia, but I believe it was Brunswick, Georgia. You'll find a lot of barbecue joints down, down south. Um, all right, so if you like this recipe, you'll find it in our third edition cookbook. If you want the second edition cookbook, it's on Amazon. It's called Instant Chef about Meals Under Pressure. Also, if you go to my Facebook group page, uh, we've got a downloadable copy for $7. Um, and we do have a free cookbook also on my Facebook group page, which is also called Meals Under Pressure. So like and subscribe uh, my channel, and I'm going to get down to eating. So we'll see you all next time.